Hello guys, Lorcan here, <clears throat> and welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution. Now, if you're watching these in order, you'll see that I'm in a completely different area. It's because I was playing for two hours, recording all of it. When I exited out, the file wasn't quite right. Like, it wasn't recorded properly, so I deleted it, think I had lost it. I did, too. But, shit happens, can't really... Oh cool, we got a new icon. That one looks better than his last. Shit happens. Move on with life, don't dwell on it. But, uh, this part is pretty cool. Um. Oh. Pfft. I was gonna show you the uh, room I came from, but that thing fucking takes forever. That's always a nice little present. Hmm, she's up and around. What do you mean, just peer like the others? Hold on. You said they were coming back? Who? Burke? Is he behind this? I... I'm not sure. He comes around, but not that often. I know he gives the orders around here, but he doesn't seem all that interested in us beyond some psych tests and questioning. 
he mostly leaves us to the doctors or scientists or whatever they are. Tell me about these scientists. Is one of them a woman named Reed? I don't know. I mean, there is a woman, but her name is Kavanaugh, not Reed. I heard the guard call her that. She seems different, like she doesn't like what they're doing to us. I can't help but think she's being forced to do these things. The others just treat us like animals. It's horrible. I just want to go home. I want to help you, but you've got to stay calm. Now, what did you mean by disappear like the others? What's been going on back here? I don't know much. I've heard rumors and seen some things, and I know what they've done to me. Biopsies, blood samples, tissue cores. Like I'm some sort of lab rat. Is that why you're back here? Separated from the others? This is where they, they study and examine us. To see if we're compatible or something. I don't know what they want from us. Sometimes we're sent back to the cell. Those that aren't. Some of the others think we let them go. But I think they're being sent somewhere else. Another facility maybe. Somewhere else besides this one. Why? What makes you think that? Because of the way they talk when they're with us. It's like they're looking for some kind of perfect team match or something. I'm not a doctor. I don't understand it. I just don't want them touching me anymore. It's okay. What's your <coughs> name? Nina. Nina Sullivan. I don't know why they're holding me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I heard Cape Town was dangerous, but I thought, with all the security around... Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall, and I wanted to have an adventure. My parents must be so worried. I take it you're not a terrorist, then? No. I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or, or anything. But neither have most of the girls here. I, I'm not sure about the men, but please, can't you get me out of here? I know this is going to seem cruel, but I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't! You have no idea what it's like! Please! I can't have you tagging along just yet, or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. I'll, I'll alert them anyway. Perk and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will! Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear! And then what? Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. Please. Don't go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor girl.
Ah, here's two. Alright, there's one more I gotta collect. Yeah, so, I've found a few achievements here and there. I might do another run-through. Um, just of these, because there's a few achievements I can't really get on uh, one run-through. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Access granted. Ah, there we go. Hello. So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. Good thing I already have his eye. Keitner. I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, you still have that retinal prosthesis you stole from his office? If you're suggesting I use it to fool a retinal scanner, it won't work. The eye synthetic tissue spike needs to be connected to a real optic nerve. Otherwise, it just reads as metal. I know. That's why you need to take it to Quinn. Oh, I have two points. <clears throat> Alright, well, one, I really don't like this. And two, I would like access to everything. Turrets I might have a tough time getting rid of. But robots? I'm pretty good at disposing of them. I'll tell them to expect you. Kaitner out. Oh, duh. Okay, um... Mm, I'll save that for later. Oh my. Okay.
Lots of stuff that's analyzing. She gave me a fake ID. My name is Corporal Allen Tyler. She doesn't like what's going on here. And so a few of them have banded together to take out Burke. He's a monster. Go. Now I gotta go through a second one. Activating security scan. Hey. Then when they get the egg, I go back I through these. Assembled. You know. I think they're loading screens, like a cool loading screen maybe. I don't know. Subject recognized. Access granted. Is anyone there? Shit, I cleared out these areas. There should be no life. Oh my, that wasn't there before. Hey fuckers. <clears throat> oh, I plan on it. Hey bros, what's that? Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Especially since I'm not letting you get up. You will all die on the ground. Oh God! It's a fucking alarm. Here we are. By the way, 
that's what's for the robots. <clears throat> I have about two clips. So, what's the story? Just got off the horn with the commander. She says you got something for me to take a look at. Prosthetic eye, one of Burke's. We need it to get past a retinal scan, but it's useless like this. Aye, without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> may as well put a golf stopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad. He may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Right. So that's it now. You got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with it. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source I rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? Is it supposed to be moving? Aye. Bloody creepy, that is. Try not to pay it any mind now. Thing's stuck in calibration mode. Trick is, I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rerouting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything's amiss, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fucking brilliant piece of engineering work if I don't sell myself. This is pretty impressive work for a mechanic, Quinn. What's that supposed to mean? There's more old Quinn than meets the eye. No pun intended. You wouldn't be the first fool to underestimate my know-how. Well, there's more to this job than just a simple battery swap. I saw you modifying the BIOS. This is state-of-the-art hardware and software. You're not just a mechanic. You're a hacker. What are you going on about now? Ain't nothing you couldn't pull off with a degree in computer engineering and a little elbow grease. Come off it now. We ain't got time for this. If you guys are thinking what I'm thinking, yes, I'm pretty sure he's the hacker that breaks you out in the beginning. <coughs> Without being hooked up to a proper battery like your brain. The voltage spike from a single scan will trip the surge protectors, shutting it down to prevent further transmissions. It's a redundant safety mechanism built into the optic nerve to prevent frying your noggin in a dorsal ventral feedback loop. Short of putting the thing in your own head, which I ain't exactly equipped to do, there's no way around it. Besides, I think the commander preferred this way. Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it, and it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. I gotta go. I think it goes without saying, but uh, we never met, all right? Well. Yeah. It's obvious you're not a bell tower sympathizer. So if there's anything more you can do to increase my odds of getting off this base alive, I'd appreciate it. Because I like you, and uh, because seeing you get your arse killed or captured put a damper on me day, I'll open a special stock to you. It's normally reserved for another uh, client, but as long as you're paying. No money back guarantee or warranty. You break it, you buy it. Ooh la la.
for shopping at Quinn Mart. Thanks for shopping at Quinn Mart. The reason for selling the two ammo is it's just two ammo. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> I'd rather have a full clip and then have the air room for something else, like more rocket launcher more pistol, which I very much like. Activating security scan. Subject recognized. Access granted. I guess I never went that way. I don't feel like hacking it though. So I just jumped over it. So it doesn't like anything. Activating security scan. All right. Recognized. 
Access granted. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to ride this back up. Yikes. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. What? My... That... Uh-oh. It's not letting me take my gun out. Here's the third one. Alright, now I need to find somewhere and place all three of them in. I know what it looks like, and I haven't seen it yet, so... I haven't missed it. You know why they take your weapon away? Oh, wait! This is it! Oh yeah, I gotta activate all three. And the last one's right there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh god. Oh my. I'm a kid. Alright, doesn't this lady care that I'm right behind her? Looking through shit? The Learned Scholar. Uh, hey. What the hell's the horrors you got here, Doc? You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Um... Kavanaugh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. 
Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic computational matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. Ah. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them. Yep. No, Bell Tower what? was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that, being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the P-dot array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well... Frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I... I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really gonna do this? <sighs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. Burke keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right. Fine. But, Mr. Jensen, please, hurry.
I wonder what I need the trauma kit for. Huh. You're gonna need that. Oh, I do have level 5 access. I thought I didn't have it. Alright guys, I'm going in this one shortly. I just want to see what's on this computer here. And I want to get back up to the prison. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. One, two, three. Wow, I can't believe they didn't activate them. Access cool. granted. Contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Wow. Oh, uh, I was really deep. I'm gonna have to deal with Burke. My only hope is that it gives me back the powers that I got. Because honestly, I had both of these. I had all three of these. Had all that. Three out of four of these. One out of three of these. Most of this. This. And this. And uh, one more of these. So I really hope it gives me all my powers. Um, Kaitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Bert must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Oh. Alright, so Bert knows. Bert knows his operation is about to go to shit and that he has people working against him. Okay. God damn it.
Detention silo decontamination proceeding. Activating security scan. Um, I have a bad feeling. Nest, didn't we? Jensen. It's bad. You need a medic. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastards cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burks enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell, lab tube, unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to Redirect. A whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. Keitner. Keitner. Rest in peace. Silo is secure. Lockdown is complete. And Kiker is contained. A bitch. Lights out. Go invisible if you want. It doesn't really matter.
Oh, damn it! I forgot I don't usually have the armor. Ugh. God damn it! Confirmation yet. Time to unload!
tough choice ahead of you, Bratan. The prisoners. A whistleblower. You can't save both. What? The hacker from the ship. You've been listening this whole time? Like Zietke said, everything's connected. Right now, Gas is set to disperse evenly between the prison and the lab. All you can do in here is redirect flow out of one area into the other. Do nothing. Everybody dies. Do something. Somebody dies faster. Precisely. But if you want to bring down Bell Tower, the choice is clear. Alright guys, I'm going to have to leave this one here. I know it's at a weird spot. Uh, Till next time. See y'all later. Bye!